if I feel that there's a sufficient justification for the expense and the cost of a referendum, and I'm convinced from overwhelming medical authority that uh, the elimination of fluoridation is in the best interest of the public and the people, I would have no objection to a referendum. But there seems to be a very sharp division between the medical field as to its benefits or its <coughs> or it's disbenefits, or those things that are not beneficial. So there's a very sharp division. I would only be one member of council, but uh, if, if there was a sufficient uh, a feeling on the part of uh, uh, the medical authorities, and after all, we have to rely on uh, the advice of medical authorities yes, in medical matters. Yes, Well, you have resort to the courts if it's illegal. Now, if it's unconstitutional, you also have an avenue to test a situation of that kind. The question is uh, largely one of uh, public policy with regard to any given municipality, whether it be Roanoke or Richmond or Norfolk. And if there is a, a, a sufficient division and, and sufficient thought, both pro and, pro and con, that uh, this question uh, should be left uh, for some consideration of the public, I see no objection to having the public. Well, I think that that's At the present time, I haven't uh, uh, delved in and I haven't investigated the question of the cost of uh, annexing Ronald. But I, I have this thought, and I have this thought which I think is in the ultimate best interest of the city of Ronald. And that thought is, is exactly what annexation does. It does three things in the final analysis. Annexation produces, with industrial development, it produces more payrolls, which means more employment. And more employment means greater uh, income from the retail merchants. And it means greater revenue to the city, to the city because <laughs> the other two begin to uh, uh, accelerate and increase the amount of revenue to the city by reason of increased employment and increased merchant uh, uh, increase merchant income by, by reason of that. In no city, there's no city in this country that can make progress and can call itself a progressive city and can bring industry to the city unless there is some degree in some form of annexation. And I say we have been too late. I say we have been 12 months too late, maybe 18 months too late. It isn't a question of what that's going to cost the city immediately. The question is, how much dividend is the city going to get in return for its initial cost? And I think it'll pay a dividend. I think it'll pay a handsome dividend. And by, while I'm on my feet in that respect, I might say this with respect to industrial development. We need that industry in Roanoke. We need it in the Roanoke uh, Valley area. Uh, it's incidental to some extent whether uh, industry comes to the uh, city limits of Roanoke what is it? Not to tell me I was not taking the time. No, I see you just this minute left.